Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Tuesday, February 28th, and today we are talking more about this word of the cup, and we're going to be in Psalm 16. And as I was looking for passages that use this word and to understand it better, I got out my um, fire study Bible, and there was a really cool note in the verse that uses the word cup in this chapter. So we're going to jump right into it. In Psalm 16, it says, Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the great excellent ones in whom is all delight. So let's stop and let's think this through. First of all, the Lord preserves us. He's where we can take our refuge. Um, there is no good apart from God. So when we are in alignment with what the Holy Spirit is leading us to do, we know that we've got that good. We've got all the good things going on. The saints are the excellent ones. That's who we want to um, lean on. That's who we want to take advice from. That's where we get our encouragement, our fellowship. And then we get to verse four. The sorrows of those who run after another God shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names on my lips. He's saying, I am not going to engage in what's going on in the society. I am going to engage in what's going on in glorifying God. It's again, we're going back to that um, passage that we talked about where we either walk by the flesh or we walk by the spirit. If you're walking by the flesh, you're engaging in what society is engaging in. If you're walking by the spirit, you are engaging in what the Holy Spirit is leading you to engage in. And sometimes that may include what society is doing. You know, we've got this big revival going on right now in our society. The Holy Spirit will lead you towards that. But then there's all these other things in society that, mm, yeah, we really don't need to be a part of that. So we need to be very mindful of that and keep that in our mind. Now, then we get to verse five, and this is where the word cups comes in. The Lord is my chosen, don't miss that word, chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. Now, before I even read this note I, that comes with this verse, I want to break this down. First of all, the David has chosen the Lord. He's made that choice. He's made a pro proclamation that he believes in who God is. He is the chosen portion and, and the cup. You hold my lot. That means the cup is actually um, holding all of the things that we inherit, all of the th blessings, all of the, um, the wonderful things that God gives us are in this cup. So as we go to this passage, um, David is referring to the inheritance or portions God's people received when they entered the promised land, both in fields. But the cup is also a metaphor that, um, that shows two things. The first thing is that it's referring to drink that would be offered to a guest as an act of kindness and hospitality. Kindness and hospitality go very, very closely with grace. That grace is pouring over us. That cup runs over with grace. It's a part of God's kindness and hospitality that we have this relationship with the Lord. And then there's the second meaning. The Lord is both the portion and the cup. He's the one that holds that grace and he allows it to overflow onto us. It's an unending supply of that grace. He is our inheritance, our source of blessing, and the only means of continued happiness. And I would even replace happiness with the word joy. It's knowing that you belong to God, knowing that you have fellowship with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, knowing you have that unending supply of grace pouring over you and understanding how majestic that is, how undeserving you are and approaching him with the utmost uh, respect and awe of who he is. As you go into your prayer closet today, read over Psalm 16, one through five. And I would, I would encourage you, you know, a lot of times I haven't done it yet today. A lot of times I'll jot down the passage on my forearm because I'm going to wash my hands and it'll go away. But I can look at it through the day 
and I can kind of um, just ponder over it all day long. And I really think that when I turn this off, I'm going to do that today. I'm going to I'm going to want to be thinking about verse five all day long. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. And that lot is the inheritance of being having the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.